<laughs> Who would watch my videos? Okay, like half my viewers are like 18 years old to like 34 years old. Alright, but who's this right here? Oh, this guy? Don't worry about that guy. Why not? <laughs> That's my grandpa. I wake up every evening with a big smile on my face and it never feels so what I've realized is I don't really have a lot of clips to make a vlog, so I'm just kind of throwing together a lot of random stuff that I have because it doesn't make sense at all, like there's no chronological order, so I'm just going to throw it into this one just to clear that all up, so yeah. Welcome to the cooking show. If you want to learn how to make an omelet, here you go. Step one, gather your ingredients. Look at those four huevos. Throw down that Mexican style cheese. Throw down that onions and make sure that ham lands on the table. Don't forget about your crispy bacon. Step two, preparation. Crack the egg and make sure that yellow circle thing it's called a yolk, falls inside the bowl, don't be stupid. Then grab the whisker thing off the shelf and put it inside the bowl and make the thing go vroom 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 vroom. Prepare your pan by putting some butter in it and making sure it spreads all the way across. Part three, the pouring part. Now if I have to be a captain novice and explain to you what the word pouring means, it's a verb. Just make sure you have all your ingredients poured inside the bowl on top of your eggs. What I'm doing now is grabbing the onions, pouring the onions, grabbing the ham, pouring the ham. In step four, the most vital part, realizing that I do not know how to make an omelet and I'm sorry for wasting your time, oh my gosh. Like, comment, subscribe. Jesus said, not everyone who serves to me. Yeah. TJ, it's your first day back to weightlifting. How do you feel? What? You guys do, like, what'd you lift? I'm getting a call, sorry. What's the usual? Oh, okay. Michigan State? <laughs> oh, oh, god damn it. They told me that they're never gonna offer me ever in my life. Did they really? Is that what they told you? I'm just fucking with you. Okay, what did it you do? It was Nick Saban. He <laughs> said, man, <clears throat> that loss to Auburn really dicked us in the in us, you know, and I and he said, "You got any any advice?" I said, "Well, Nick, I didn't hear you say any of that." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, "No, trust me." I can no. roll. I can roll back the tape. You didn't say anything. Nick, no, Nick and I, we have we have a thing. He calls me every weekend, asks me how the kids are. You don't have I, kids. No, that's why I, I tell him. I tell him, Nick. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you. And he said, "Well, then, how come?" I have a kid that's named after you, and you claimed him. And I said, Nick, we don't got to talk about this right now. I'm at dinner with my family, with my other kids that I've raised. I have 13 kids scattered across the world. I don't know their names. So, so um, the lift was good? Yeah, the lift was great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey buddy, what's wrong, dude? My girlfriend just broke up with me, man. What? What happened? She caught me cheating. What? Isn't that your fault? No, dude. She wasn't supposed to find out about it. 